Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing with you guys how to change the charging sound for your iPhone using iOS 14. So I saw a TikTok of a girl showing how she made her phone play a certain sound when her phone dropped below 5%. It was from, well it was Jarvis talking, saying like your phone is falling below 5%. I also set that up on my phone, but when I was following that tutorial I saw you have so many things you can actually do with this. And um, in this video specifically, I'm going to be focusing on how to change your cha charging sound so that it plays a certain sound when you are charging your phone. So I'm um, just going to show an example of what my phone does when I am charging it. Okay, so I have my charger here. I'm just going to... Hello, I am Jarvis. Okay, so that's the sound when it's connected to the power. And if I take it off... I have indeed been uploaded, sir. We're online and ready. So those are the two sounds that I automated on my phone. I specifically wanted Jarvis just because I'm a big Marvel fan and um, yeah, I just love the voice. So uh, yeah, I specifically chose Jarvis, but obviously you can choose whichever sound you want for your phone. The TikTok I saw was from I'm Just Brit on TikTok, so I just want to give her a shout out because she did help me actually come up with this video idea. So I just wanted to share it with you guys as well in case you're not on TikTok or just haven't seen it yet so I can help you guys out. If you're wondering where I found the sound from for, of Jarvis talking, I just looked up a Jarvis compilation on YouTube. I'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. But that's where I found my song. But obviously you can use any sound that you want. You don't have to use like Jarvis or anything. Um, it's just the one I chose. I'm going to switch to a screen recording now just because I feel like screen recordings just show better what you're doing because sometimes it's hard to see when you film like this. So I'm going to switch over to screen recording to show you guys how you can change your charging sound. So the apps you'll need for this tutorial is the Shortcuts app, so it might be on default on your iPhone. If not, just search it on the App Store and this is what it looks like. You'll need the Files app, which is also a default on your iPhone, and Safari. Um, that's just the web browser I'm going to be using. I'm pretty sure you can use other ones. I'm not quite sure, but if you can, I suggest using Safari for this tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is find the sound you want to use for your charging sound. The best way to do this is find your sound on YouTube and then screen record the portion where that is playing. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys that. This part I'm going to have to show you guys on the camera and on screen recording because I need to show you guys how to screen record. But I have this video that I told you guys about where I got my sound and, and I, there was a helpful comment which um, time stamped the phrases that he was saying. So I just went to the one that I was looking for and then go to your control center and here is the screen recording option, this little thing with two circles. Now, this might not be in your control center yet to screen record, so if it's not there, go to settings, scroll down until you find control center. Control center is this option here. And then here are a bunch of options of things you can add to your control center. So if you don't have screen recording yet, it won't be here. I'm just going to remove it real quick to show you guys. So it might be here, this one that says con this one that says screen recording. Click on the plus button and then it will automatically be added to your control center. So also depending on the iPhone you have control center right over here or you have to swipe up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click on the timestamp. So that's 728. So that's where I want to have the sound start. I'm going to start my screen recording. Make sure your microphone is off because you just want to record your phone's audio, not your voice's audio. Um, start your screen recording. It's going to count down from three. Then it's going to show this red thing up here. Click play. Hello, I am Jarvis. You are Ultra. Stop. Stop. And then I stopped my screen recording. So now it automatically recorded that audio. And um, now we're going to show you guys how to continue with the tutorial on the screen recording. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do now is making sure our audio is the right length. So for instance, it did when I screen recorded it, it caught a piece of audio that I don't want included in my charging sound. So the easiest way to do this is just use iMovie. iMovie is free again on your iPhone. Click on the plus button and click on create a movie. And then just import that screen recording that we just made and select create movie. So now I have that screen recording playing and I'm just going to quickly hear like how it sounds. So I'm going to split the video of the audios that I, parts of the video that I don't want. So here it begins. I'm going to split and delete that part. Hello, I am Jarvis. And again, split and delete. So now it's only this part playing. Hello, I am Jarvis. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on done.
and then I'm just gonna save this video like regularly so you just click on the export button up here and just click on save video you don't have to cut it if you are good with screen recording you can just quickly screen record your audio the right amount of seconds and not have any extra audio you don't have to do this part but this is just if you're very particular and perfectionist or whatever um, and you want to do this this is probably the easiest way to go about it and making sure you only have the part of the audio that you want Okay, so now we have our audio. Now we're gonna go to Safari and go to cloudconvert.com. Honestly, it sounds like a lot of steps, but once you've done it once or twice, it's really easy to remember. So I'm just gonna select my file here and just gonna go to photo library and choose the video with my sound, click on add and convert to, just select MP3 and then click on convert down here. And then it's gonna bring this up and click on download and download again. Now you'll see there's an arrow here in the top right corner which shows your download. So this download is gonna be in the files app here. So I'm just gonna go to my downloads area in my files app and here is the file. So you can either go here, hold down and click share and copy, or you can stay in Safari, click on your file and click the share option and copy. Just make sure you're copying the file. That's the main important thing. Now comes the actual creating of the shortcut. So you're gonna go to shortcuts app here and you'll see you have three sections down here and you're gonna wanna go to automation. Here you can see the automations that I already have on my phone. So you're gonna click on the plus button to create a new automation and select create personal automation. Like I said, you can have multiple instances of automations. You can have an automation when you have a certain battery level, when you connect to a certain Wi-Fi, when um, you arrive at your home, when a certain time of day. You have so many things you can do and. It just follows the same basic steps that I'm showing you guys in this tutorial. You just choose a different automation here. But I'm just gonna go with charger. But again, you can choose whichever one you want. The steps after this is all the same. So I'm just gonna choose is connected. So when my phone is connected, it's gonna say, hello, I'm Jarvis. So I'm gonna click on next here. And now comes probably the most tedious steps. So when we saved our mp3 file, we clicked on share and selected copy. So that file is now on our clipboard. So now we're gonna click on add action here and you're gonna search for encode and you'll see base64 option here, select that one and select the input as clipboard. You don't have to worry about actually understanding what you're doing, just follow these steps. And then you're gonna click on the play button down here and then you'll see all this text. So then you're going to click on the share option here and select copy. Then you're going to click on this plus button here and then you're going to search for text and select this one and select paste. So then you just paste that text that you just copied. Then you're going to again click on this plus button here and search for encode and again choose the base64 encode and then for encode you're going to change that to decode and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the plus button again and you're going to search for play sound and then just to make sure you have the right sound click on the play button again hello i am jarvis and make sure it's playing the audio you want then select next and turn off ask before running so it won't ask every single time and it will just automatically do it and then click on done. And then you've created your automation. So it's as easy as that. Here you can see all my automations. I only have three. So when my power is connected, when it's disconnected and when my battery falls below 5%. Again, that's the TikTok I saw. I'll have that in the description box below for you guys to check out. But it has the same principle. You just create a new personal automatum, automation and choose whichever one you want. So if it's a specific time of day, click next, and then follow the steps that I just showed you guys. It's really easy. I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but once you get the hang of it, I promise you it's worth it. So just to recap for you guys, find your sound, screen record your sound, cut your sound if you need to in iMovie, convert your sound into MP3, go into the shortcuts app, follow the steps, and then you're good to go. Okay, so that's how I changed my charging sound of my phone to Jarvis. Um, I hope this video helped you guys and you can also like make a few automations. Like I said in the video, there are multiple things you can do with this and you don't just have to change your charging sound. You can use the sound for pretty much anything that is available at the shortcut and automation area. So 
yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other tips and tricks related videos and click on my video to my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.